Oh, hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick video here about the latest changes to Mobile VR Station to enhance media watching. So let's go over some small things first. Alright, so I have a folder of photos here. I'm going to start by doing a shuffle. Actually, no, I don't want to. I'm going to click one. And I'm going to say hide interface. All right, so what we can do is we can use your thumb and your ring finger here. If you touch them together, then it will do next. And if I do the same with my left hand, it'll go back. And now if I want to bring up a little menu, I can touch my thumb and my middle finger together. And now I have a little mini player I can use to then, you know, quickly adjust things. If I look over here, my mini player will move with me. We don't need that right now. Let's just keep on. Next, next, next. For video content, touching my ring fingers quickly will make it move forward or backwards within the current video if you want to skip ahead or go backwards quickly. All right, now one of the thing is tours are now included in this app. So let's go and see a tour. I have one in my download folder. All right, so here is a tour. Let's load it up. All right, so this is an example of a tour that I built years ago. But, you know, so I'm inside of a 360 environment, and then I have little hotspots. So if I click on them, it'll then take me to another location. I can also have videos and images play within the view too, so you can actually have a uh, multimedia presentation if you wanted to. And the Tor software is currently available on the uh, Microsoft Store. But uh, this is just an example, so I can close out. So that's all the new features that were currently added into mobile VR station. Now there's actually one more thing I need to mention. Now the Android fixes is gone. It's just now all configuration wizard. So try just to clean it up and get rid of a unnecessary menu item. All right. Thanks.